Okay, this is Carrie from Texas, and I'm giving you up an update as a consumer with my own claim. I've done a few videos before and documenting my own homeowner's claim and what's been going on. Now, my own my my damage to my home started before the hurricane, two weeks before the hurricane. It is now the twentieth of July five weeks from the original reporting of my homeowner's claim and not one thing has been done to repair my home not one there was a tarp placed on my home because two days after the inspection came inspector came out we had a hurricane which took the tarp off of my home. My home was tarped last week on Thursday. We finally found a new tarp and we tarped it. Now, in the process, and the reason I am, am documenting this is because I want everybody to understand that this sort of thing happens and you are your best and most powerful voice when it comes to your claim and dealing with the insurance companies. I'm an agent, so I have a little bit of advantage because I understand and talk their lingo, but this doesn't change the facts here, okay? So a claim was turned in, they sent me a letter and they said, oh yes, we'll cover this, this, and this, but oh, by the way, it's less than, the, than your deductible, which is a wind and hail deductible because obviously it's my roof that has a hole in it, so that's always going to be considered weather related. I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is that my home was inspected in 2022 at the renewal. Okay? The policy was written, went through one cycle, we got to the renewal, the carrier came out, and they inspected my home. They did not walk my roof. They came out and did an exterior inspection from the ground, and they passed my home. Now they asked me on two, in two separate trees to trim the back. We did that. There was no underwriting warnings. There was no exclusions. It was all accepted, policy issued for the renewal, and we're now two years later. Now the carrier is saying, hmm, you actually have damage to your roof because a tree was rubbing on your roof. Uh, no, you passed the inspection. You passed the inspection when the house was written. You're not going to come back now almost four years later and say that my house has damage from a tree when there's no tree over my house that po po could have potentially even done the damage that you're talking about. This specific thing is why it is so important for you to understand and document in your own records everything that happens to your homeowner's policy. I know my home was inspected. It was inspected in 2022 at the renewal. They asked me to make some trimming of my trees that were not on my home. They were around my home. We did that. They accepted it. They took the photos. They took the receipt. They renewed the policy with no exclusions. Now, they do not get to come back now and say, Two years after that inspection, by the way, we're not going to cover the repair of the four holes in your roof and the reason the ceiling fell in your bedroom upstairs because a tree was rubbing on the top of your roof when they've had two inspections of my home. It doesn't work that way. You don't get to come back after two inspections and claim there's a possible tree rubbing my roof when, when, when would, when did that possibly happen? They cannot tell me when that possibly happened. So I disputed their findings. So now we have another third inspector coming out to revisit the structural damage from the four holes that are in my roof. Now also in this 
formula or equation or example. The top ridge of my home, I have a, a home that has a gable roof. A gable is like this where it makes a V. And at the top of my home, at the top of the gable, there is a ridge. And in that ridge, there is a very long piece of roofing material that is put on that ridge to prevent any water from coming up and over that ridge and down into your roof. That is gone. And there are four holes in my roof. This is why the water came through my, through my roof, into my house, through the ceiling, and into my bedroom. This is why it is so important as you as a consumer to understand the policy history on your policy, when your home is written, when, there's an when there is an inspection, and any notices that you get from the insurance carry as a directive or as a warning or as a request. You must answer those requests in order to protect your policy so they cannot then come back and say, we're going to exclude this because you didn't respond to it, or we're going to exclude this because we are saying there's a pre-existing condition, which they cannot do because they have inspected the property twice. So there you go. That is just one example of why it is so incredibly important for you to document everything, read everything, and follow through with every single request from your carrier and your agent. I hope this is an example that if you are struggling with something similar, you pick up the phone and you call your agent and you ask your agent, when was my home inspected and how many times has it been inspected? And you want to get copies of that inspection or those inspections depending on how many there has been. This is Carrie and I'm the owner of KDS Insurance Services in the Houston area. Please reach out if you have any questions or if we can help you in any other way. God bless.